And I'm telling you, you know, I know from my life experience, freedom of the press is the cornerstone of democracy. It's not elections. They can be manipulated if you don't have a free press. It's not a free market. Hitler had a free market. It's the freedom of the press. And if you open the door to the censorship, a crack, when you let the gene of uh, censorship out of the bottle, you'll never put him back. And it will have a devastating effect on the quality of life. Not only that life becomes very boring, but life becomes very cruel. Because under the censorship, anybody finally who didn't agree with the official ideology and the official taste and official regulations is enemy of state and will be silenced. Was, you know, we like to put labels, you know, so that we can get rid of the problem, right? You say in the end of your speech, the real hero of my film is not a person, but... Supreme Court of the United States. Because in a moment of important decision, it chose freedom. Because they rise to their best when provoked, challenged by the worst. And that's rare, Charlie, that's rare. Because the legislature in Germany, in Russia, in Czech Republic, in Poland, countries very civilized and cultured, when they were challenged by Nazis and the communists, the legislatures buckled and opened the door to censorship. And I know what happened. The other point you make is that they always go after the targets that people don't particularly like in the first place in an engagement of censorship. If you want to censor, start with somebody that nobody wants to defend very much. Yes? Well, they always go uh, on targets. Uh, they know people will applaud them. Okay. You know? And the, who would not applaud if I promise you to clean the streets from the smut? Of course, everybody applauded. And if but then, you know, suddenly during the Nazis, not only uh, pornographers and prostitutes and homosexuals and lesbians were perverts, suddenly Jews, blacks, gypsies, for the communi communists, Christians, Muslims, the whole Western culture was perverse. I couldn't buy uh, Hemingway or Faulkner or, or Shakespeare. I couldn't buy for 20 years.